Employment and leisure and hospitality continued to trend up in October with 35,000 jobs added for the month, although the sector as a whole is still 6.5% below its February 2020 level. Joining me now to discuss trends in the sector is Nicholas, Nicholas Lilios. He's the CEO of Nausta, a comprehensive workforce management platform. Uh, Nicholas, good to talk to you today. Let's start by talking about how exactly uh, you are sort of at this intersection here. You've got pretty good visibility on the hiring in this specific space, but how's your software support all that? Yeah, great. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited to uh, tell you about what we do. So at a high level, we're an operating system for hourly gig and flex workforces. Um, as we all know, there's been immense challenges that these workforces are currently facing. Um, what our platform does is help employers uh, find uh, workers, um, and it also helps them manage them. Um, we're really oriented around helping employers transform into flex and dynamic workforces, moving away from the traditional 40-hour work week um, and allowing them to better access different pools of labor. Uh, we have a platform called FlexPool that aggregates a bunch of labor sources in a particular area and essentially gives employers access to logistics and other um, uh, opportunities to engage with this workforce so they can ensure that they're fully staffed. Um, so it's kind of what we do. So, so what is what is the data that you have there um, through your platform? What does that tell you about, you know, how many workers are looking for a little more flexibility, but more importantly, how competitive the pay is for those who are looking for those types of jobs? Yeah, absolutely. So workers are looking for flexibility. I think uh, employers have been slow to uh, embrace the idea that flexible work is here to stay. Um, and they're struggling to find workers who are willing to work 40, 50 hours a week. Um, workers want to be able to choose when they work. They might want to work 15 hours this week, 20 hours the, the following week. Um, and they have to uh, uh, adapt to the fact that uh, workers have preferences that don't necessarily align with what employers want. And so what we've been really oriented around is helping them um, better access pools of labor that um, allow them to uh, work with these types of workers. We give them tools to help them schedule. We, we allow them to um, uh, better and more easily track these workers. So um, there's a fundamental change in the uh, labor market um, uh, and uh, employers are just struggling to find people. Uh, it's very challenging out there. And we're showing on the screen there uh, some of the top cities that are most attractive for flex workers right now, New York, Atlanta, LA, Denver, and Dallas. You know, we have seen employers increasingly turn to a little more flexible work schedule, largely because of need. Um, what are you hearing from them about their ability to, to fill these job posts once they add a little more leeway into the scheduling? Yeah, so they're, they're seeing huge increases in their ability to fill jobs when they uh, adopt flex. Um, they're, they're realizing that workers are more productive, they're happier, they're uh, more able to work when they can choose the terms on which they work. Um, and so employers uh, that have embraced it have seen you know, tremendous results uh, uh, with that. Now, it doesn't mean that employers aren't facing challenges you know, with the increased complexity with flex work, but uh, on the whole, um, the employers who adopt flex work are seeing uh, much higher fill rates uh, than employers who, who have not. And who are some of the biggest employers on um, utilizing your software? So we, we work with dozens of pro sports teams, um, most of the, the major uh, hotel and hospi hospitality brands like Marriott, uh, Milwaukee Brewers, those types of entities. We also work with uh, Fortune 50 and Fortune 500, big box retailers, warehouses, distribution centers, uh, those types of entities. Now, so CEO Nicholas Lilios joining us in our New York studio. Good to have you on today. Thank you.